begin with something from the parasha. And those who spent the whole time last week thinking, wait, is it going to be connected to the halacha? Spoiler alert, it won't. So you don't have to think how in the world the battle between the Malach and Yaakov Avinu is going to connect to putting your kugel on the hot plate. I'll spare you the agony, the agony. So a famous pasuk, Vayavik ish ima yad aloisa shachar v'yiga b'kaf yirechai, the fight for eternity, the fight that we could talk about for eternity. So much to discuss. So where where should we where should we just take out one small little nikuda? The point that we'll point out is from the Chavetz Chaim. We'll start with the Chavetz Chaim, and we'll we'll hopefully bring out a, a short, nice point. Chavetz Chaim says, why Yaakov Avinu? Why Yaakov Avinu? Why not Avraham? Why not Yitzchak? All of a sudden, Yaakov Avinu is going back to get his pacham ketanim. All of a sudden now, the angel, exactly which angel it was, Samach Mem, the Saramaves, exactly who it was, the angel comes to fight, why Yaakov Avinu? Says the Chavetz Chaim, we see from here a, a fascinating but an obvious point. What was Avram Avinu? Chesed. What was Yitzchak Avinu? Tfila. Says the Chavetz Chaim, the Chesed of Avram Avinu, the Malach said I could handle. The, t- the Tfila of a Yitzchak Avinu, the Malach said I could handle. But the Torah of a Yaakov Avinu, the Titan Emes, the Yaakov, the Yaakov, Yeshiv, all him, the angel said that I can't be Saival. And therefore, it comes along the Malach, and the Malach says, With Yaakov Avinu, I'm going to fight. And it continues the Chavetz Chaim, and this is the battle for eternity, and this is the battle for Tyra until today, which brings to mind the Chsam Sefer, which I'm sure everyone heard an unlimited amount of times since Simcha's Tyra. The Chsam Sefer says that when you're Isaac in the Milcham Shal Tyra, it saves you from future Milchamais, the Chsam Sefer. So to take this one step deeper, when we're discussing the Chavetz Chaim teaching us that the Malach wanted to battle particularly with Yaakov due to the Taira, with famous Gemara in Kedushin. But I think if we think about it for a moment, we'll get a little bit more of a deeper understanding. Gemara in Kedushin, Naf Lamatas says that Barasi lo Taira, Barasi lo Barasi lo Yitzhar, excuse me, Barasi lo Taira, Tavlin. Says the, ah, Haley of Mayor is here. Okay, Mayor, we have something good for you. We'll send him, okay. Is he driving? Or does, he's driving, okay. So, Brussel, Tavlin, Brussel, Tavlin, Tavlin. So, what does it mean, Brussel, Tavlin, Brussel, Tavlin, Brussel, Tavlin, Tavlin, says the Gemara, that if you're Zaycha, then the Yetzer is transformed into the Tavlin, into the elixir of life, right? It says it could be either the Sama Mavis or the Sama Chayim. And the Torah itself transforms the Yitzhahara into the Sama Chayim. So if you think about this, what exactly does this mean? We all know, yeah, Torah saves everything. But it means the Gemara is teaching us something very simple. The Gemara is saying that the Torah itself transforms the evil into the good. It's not just that the Torah is something that it saves you from the Yitzhahara. The Torah is megan. It does all that also. But the Gemara Kedush and Naflam is teaching us that the Torah takes the Yitzhahara and it transforms it into the Samachayim, into the elixir of life, that which gives you life. So Rechon of Asterman says, utilize this in the Muhammad analogy and you come out with something beautiful. And he says that when you have a battle, sometimes day one, one side could win, but does that mean he's going to win on day two? Day two, the other side could pull back. But if one side takes the weaponry of the other side, then no longer is there a battle. Because the other side can't do anything, because I have your weapons. Says of Ochan Vasarim, that's Shana the Gemara, that the Torah could become a Sama Chaim, is that we're removing the power of the Yitzhahara, and he's now on our team. And now what happens is, nothing more is fighting against you, and now you have the tools of the Yitzhahara, whatever, whatever that means. It's a difficult thing to understand because we know that. What do you mean? The Yitzhahara is a continuous creation. But at some level, what the Gemara is teaching us is that it becomes the Samachayim. And we'll conclude with a beautiful, a beautiful Gematria. I have no clue where this comes from. I'm a Cheshish, it comes from a and Feiner. That's usually where my Gematrias come from. And it's not in my notes. So that, that's, what I'm cheshish, that's what I'm Cheshish for. What happened at the end of the battle? Yaakov, the Satan, 
end of the battle, what happens? Yaakov becomes Yisrael. Beautiful. Yaakov becomes Yisrael. The end of the story was Yaakov beats the Satan, and Yaakov tells the Satan what? I want a bracha. I want a bracha. The bracha of the Satan was that your name is no longer Yaakov, but your name is Yisrael. Says, I don't know who, I apologize, I wish I could know who. There was a battle. When the battle was won, Yaakov didn't just destroy the Satan, he made the Satan give him a bracha. Yaakov and Satan together equal Yisrael. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That when you overcome and you win the battle, it doesn't just mean that you win the battle. You transform the enemy into a piece of Kedusha. Absolutely fascinating thing to think about that you could transform a Ra into Toiv. You could take the Yitzhah harder. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Okay. That's what I want to say. Yeah, someone here has to know how to add some numbers. That if you take the bad, you could actually transform it into good. Absolutely incredible. And that's what happens at the end of the battle between Yaakov and the Malach. And the Malach says, it's my turn, and we'll end with this, the Goyen Mitchabin. Again, I have interesting notes here. I have no clue where all these came from. I apologize. But why all of a sudden now was the Malach going to sing Shira? Now, ever think about it? It's a funny thing. Again, we have this whole battle in the middle of the night. Hits him in the Kaf Yerechai. Gets a new name, Yisrael. All of a sudden, the angel says, I gotta go. Where is he going? To sing Shira. Now, it was like, just a coincidence. At this moment, happened to be the moment he had to sing Shira? Interesting question. So, the Chabiner Goin. Mir is not here. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure. Who, yeah, you had your. your okay, it works out. Thank you. The Chabiner Goin says, You know why he had to say Shira right now? Because in reality, the Shira he was saying was on Yaakov Avinu destroying him. After Yaakov Avinu beat the Satan, says the Satan, I have to go and say Shira. Why? Because the Shira that he's going to give to Kaddish Baruch Hu is that there's an entity called Klal Yisrael, there's an entity called Yaakov that beat me. That was the shear that he was saying, transforming the satan into the actual entity that says shira. It wasn't a coincidence that precisely at this moment, all of a sudden he has to say shira. No, the shira that he was saying was particularly on this battle that Yaakov won the battle. Now the satan, his enemy says, I have to go say shira. I am now going to be your greatest advocate. I'm going to go to Hashem and I'm going to sing your praises. Yaakov and the Satan, when Yaakov beats the Satan, he becomes Yisrael, we become Kal Yisrael. He goes up, he sings Shira. Absolutely incredible. And the nimshal that we take out is the Kayach HaTayra. We know that every word, every bit, what does it do? Is one bit more that's going to extinguish the flames. Utilizing the words of the Chassam Seifer, that it will be Isaac b'Melchamtei Shal Taira, it will destroy from all Melchamtei. And with that.